Hi guys, this is gsnhome.com and we're here in Taipei, Taiwan for the unveiling of the ASUS ROG Phone 2 and we can see the whole design process behind it and a teardown of the device. We can actually see the form study and the variety of formats they tried. They tried the actual format 6.59 inches but also they went bigger with 6.75 inches. They went as far as to have a 7000 mAh battery inside but it made the phone too heavy. And then we also see the ID mockup development. They worked on a few formats for the back side. You can see a variety of colors, a variety of hues, also a different ways of integrating the ROG logo. Next up, we have here the back coating. You can see a ceramics coating, grating pattern, an anti glare one, plus one with a hologram. Now we go inside where we can see the frame, the middle frame production process, this is actually part of the teardown and it adopted a pretty classical design with some extras. We can see the air trigger, surrounding vibration and the multiple antenna design, they tried everything to make the phone faster and adapt it to the landscape experience when gaming. Now, heat is important and we have a variety of thermal solutions, heat sink, cooling putty, thermal grease, 3D vapor chamber and the works. We're dealing with a Snapdragon 855 Plus processor, actually a premiere on this phone. We have the metal decorative ring, an ASUS official told me that it was inspired by a sword, a sword from RPG or action games. And here we have the film prototype. It's actually pretty complex. You can see the whole CNC back printing, uh, the combination and so forth. Even the decorative film design was put to the test. And now the accessories. So uh, here you can see the case of the device similar to the first ROG phone. And this is called the Kunai, the ROG ROG. Uh, kunai controllers. They can be set together like the Joy-Cons and a joystick or kept to the sides of the device. And now we go further to the Twin View Dock 2. It's torn down here. You can see the insides. It provides a 5000 mAh battery extra from the 6001 of the phone plus an extra screen. Uh, it's an extra display with the same diagonal size and the same resolution. And here you can see the counterweight of the 5000 mAh battery form factor and a variety of other attempts at creating this. And this is the Aero Cooler, the new generation, which is supposed to be more silent than the first generation one and also cool down the phone in intense gaming sessions. And here we have some sketches of the Aero Active Cooler, the Rock Kunai gamepad, the TwinView Dock 2, and uh, on this wall we have some beautiful beautiful renders and design sketches. These were the first attempts to envision a new generation of ROG Phone 2. Some of this looks like Nintendo DS just a little bit uh, and the shoulder buttons are more prominent as you can see here. And this is how it all started. Uh, we've shown you a teardown, we've shown you designs, we've shown you attempts at creating the perfect gaming phone. And I think the ROG Phone 2 is quite an achievement and uh, rest assured will be more materials on gsnon.com on this topic. So this has been gsnon.com in Taipei, Taiwan, getting to know the ASUS ROG Phone 2 and its teardown. Bye bye.